What's up, my fitness family? Brent Kazmer here with BKPT. Brent Kazmer, personal training. And I'm going to be teaching you today fat to fit. All right? So it's a very touchy subject because no one wants to become fat or no one wants to be called fat. But it is a word. And guess what? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. So this is not meant to hurt somebody. This is a very touchy word. We don't talk about it. We don't talk with this word when describing people in our household, all right? Something I teach my kids, you know, it's just, it's a word, but out of shape is a better word that I feel like we should use, but regardless, we're going to go ahead and hit this topic fat to fit, all right? So if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe, mash the notification bell, you're notified as all my newest content comes out. Because I want you to understand the fastest, easiest, simplest ways to be fit, to be in shape, all right? So show me some love, give me some likes, and also pop in there in the comments where you're at. Are you in this journey? Are you fat? Are you fit? You know, that's what I want to know, and also what your struggles are. And also pop in there things that you used, did, that way, maybe you can help somebody else out also in this comment ladder, all right? So, let's not hold back any farther. Like I said, fat, it's a word. What it really means is lacking muscle. So, at the end of the day, you have fat, you got muscle. If you're not called muscle, then you're called fat. You know, that's what you got. So, what you want to do is increase your muscle, speed up your metabolism, so let's find out some of these quick little tidbits on how to get there, all right? Because when you think of somebody that's fit, they're in shape. They've got muscle. So that's what we're leaning to do. You just don't want to go from fat to fit, back to fat again, back to fit again, back to fat again. Those are not ingredients for a successful, healthy living lifestyle, all right? Here we go. So you have to have a few things in place. These few things are workout, nutrition, accountability. They're huge factors. I've got some key ingredients in here for you that's going to help you go to the next level and also stay healthy, live healthy, and maintain that fit, look, feel, body, all right? So workout can't take a long time. Has to be short, sweet, to the point, or else it's not going to be sustainable. It's not something you're going to do forever. That's why I created the accelerated PT method. Accelerated PT method helps you to have a variable workout regimen where some days are higher repetitions, some days are heavier repetitions, lower or heavier weights, lower repetitions. So that way you can blast that muscle from all different angles. You also want it to be intense, so therefore you're moving from either supersets, tri-sets, quad sets, or giant sets. These are multiple exercises put together to give you an end result, but a great result. Other things that go along with your workout is making it a routine, so picking a time of day that it can be done consistently. So therefore, it's a routine, and you're not thinking about it. You're not giving yourself a choice or the ability to back out of it. It's a routine. It's a part of what you do. So therefore, you don't want it at a point of your day where you have 50 things that could possibly come up. So if you try to pop it in at a lunch break or midday, and all of a sudden you either got to run your kids' homework, you have a work meeting that came up, you have something that came in place of it. So you should have it at a point in your day that nothing can deter you from it. Because that's all you need is a hiccup. Because hiccups can last a long time and derail you. So you want to make sure that it becomes a routine, okay? So also it needs to be fast, like I said. So it should be 15 to 45 minutes max. So at least 15 minutes, 45 minutes max. That way you can get in and get it done and get out. Am I missing anything with the workout? You also want to be able to, you, you do have to have days where it is heavy. You need to pick up some heavy weights. You need to pick up some heavy stuff. 
because you need to make muscle to speed up your metabolism also because a faster metabolism is what's going to keep you fit forever, all right? So number two, nutrition. Nutritional component I've created is called the Ignite Meal Planning System. So this is a system that's put into place. Therefore, it's easy to do with your life. So this is not a fad diet. This is something that you want to make sure that you're doing. Um, one, it's based on protein. So you need to have protein source at each meal. The quantity uh, is going to determine, is going to depend on A, where you're at, you know, how much muscle you currently have, what your end goal is, so those, and how many meals that we're going to decide you're going to eat throughout your day. Because everything, all your macros need to kind of be adjusted accordingly. Um, macros are your proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. But what I said was your proteins need to be in all of your meals, okay? So I didn't say your carbs had to be in all your meals. I didn't say your fats had to be in your meals. I said your proteins. So protein is the building block of muscle. Muscle is your metabolism at the end of the day. Same thing with the nutrition. Can't be hard. Can't be difficult. So it has to fit with what you do and who you are and your career or whatever you're doing right now. So that way it's, you know, it's, it's, it's doable. So when you do this, you do need to sit down and make a plan. Because without a plan, you're going to get all kinds of sidetrack. Things are going to come up. You know, you have to know exactly day to day what to do. You also have to have meal prep days or grocery days or whatever type of days that we decide for you to best fit your schedule. Yes, there's a lot of variability there, but that's why I said it has to fit your life. Because if it doesn't fit your life, you're not going to do it for a long time. So key nugget is timing of your nutrition, protein at every meal, and then also your food prep needs to be certain days. Everything's scheduled so that way it's easy. If, you know, you walk around every single day and you're just bouncing off of walls and you don't know where you're going or how to get there, you're going to have a lot of, you know, problems. So therefore, you know, without a plan, without a roadmap, you, you know, you're not, you're not going to get to that end goal. And then I'm going to teach you that in the next step also. And I call this, it's accountability. But when I refer to it in my seven-figure body blueprint, as I call this, your liabilities. So you have your assets, you got your liabilities, right? Your body's your asset. You got liabilities that kind of are along the way that can kind of bump you off track. You got your mindset. You've got your motivation, which I hate that word and, and like that word all at the same time. You know, you have your goals. So being able to set the right goals and stay focused on what your goals are. But what at the end of the day, what this all leads to is determination. So you need to be determined upon what you set up, what your goal is, and how we're going to get there. Because if you're determined, at the end of the day, that's what's going to keep you motivated. All right? So don't set yourself a goal of, oh, you want to drop 10 pounds. Oh, I want to lose, you know, 5% body fat. All good ones, all short term, which means they're not going to keep you there forever. So my personal goal is, you know, I don't want to call it staying young forever, but staying in shape, so therefore it makes me feel younger than my age. I believe in feeling athletic at any age is a big goal, which then keeps me determined to do what I do and teach what I teach. So a lot of times people are like, oh, well, he's blessed. Oh, well, he's got good genes. Oh, well, he doesn't have to work that hard. Oh, I bet he works out 10 hours a day. Oh, no, that's not the case. Whenever you set a goal, it needs to be exactly what you're trying to do. So therefore, once you get to the maintenance phase of it, yes, it's easier. But you have also have all these things, this whole foundation thing set in place so that way you stay on the right path. When you take a classic car from the junkyard and you pull it out of the junkyard, and you're like, man, I want to make this thing look amazing, beautiful, fast, X, Y, Z, whatever it might be. So when you pull it out of the junkyard, guess what you got to do? You got a lot of work to do on it. You know, looks like a piece of crap, but in your mind, you have a vision. And your vision is this beautiful car that's a certain color, that's sleek, shiny. It's got all these, like, fine details that you already have in your mind of how it's going to look. That's what you have to have for yourself. You have to have for yourself this fit image, this end resolution of, like, what it's going to be. And print that out. Make it, create it, so that way you can plaster it up and say, hey, you know what? This is me. This is my before. 
This is my after, and this is what I'm going to do to get there, okay? Because that's the, the, the plan. That's the roadmap. That's, the, the, you know, the strategy that goes behind it. You know, there's going to be knowledge. There's going to be road bumps. There's going to be roadblocks. There's going to be things that are going to come up, but it's how you get around that to make sure you get to that last point, all right? Hopefully that makes some sense to you. Hopefully I can kind of, like, paint that picture for you because that is where it's going to be at to get you to that fit and shape, muscle, you know, look in person that you want to be, that you desire. That's why you looked up this whole video and what to expect. So you need to know with the whole liabilities thing, you need to know what your body fat is, what your muscle composition is, because that's what's going to help determine, you know, how much protein to eat, how many times a day to eat, the type of workout you do, you know, if you, you know, you're lacking muscle in your lower body or lacking muscle in your upper body, so you know where to focus a little bit more on, so that way you can transform those numbers a lot better, okay? So that is, in a nutshell, fat to fit, but it's going to help you to go from fat to fit to fat. This is the long-term part, okay? And I also have a great video out there, fat to fit, transformation for men, so therefore, go ahead and watch that video as well because I'm going to go into finer details about this transformation, all right? So I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, you got some great nuggets in this that's going to keep you on track and get you going from fat to fit, all right? Subscribe. Mash that notification bell the way you're notified as all the new content comes out. And show me some love. Give me some likes, all right? I love seeing that this is hitting home because that means it's important not only to you, but it's important that I get it across to you, all right? makes me feel good about what you guys are getting out of this, all right? And then also comment where you're at, struggles, overcoming, all those types of things because you can help other people out there as well go from fat to fit and stay fit, all right? Love it. See you guys in the next video.